I'm going to explain how to take advantage of XDIF and XMERGE in Plastic SCM. So what I'm going to do is to create a couple of branches and do some changes on them and then just uh, show how the code that has been moved and changed can be merged back using XMERGE. So I'm going to create a couple of branches, XMERGE 001 and 002. I'm going to switch to it. Then I'm going to find the file that I normally use for demos, which is my file system file. Open it up in Visual Studio. So in the first one, all what I'm going to do is just add, in fact, instead of adding some code, what I'm going to do is just modify a little bit the code, right? So dear name, like this, and uh, okay, I'm probably I'm going to add a comment too. Small comment. That's all what I'm going to do. I just save the change, go back to play to plastic, show the pending changes, refresh. Here is my change. I see the change as a couple of lines. So small changes on create directory. Okay, let's go for the concurrent change. So create another another branch. I'm going to call it xmerge002. And now I'm in parallel. I'll go back to my file. It's reloaded because I'm not starting. I mean, I'm, I'm starting back at the same point, so I don't have the changes I just did there. So that's what I'm going to do. So now what I'm going to do is something interesting, which is okay. I'm going to put my method, move my method down. Basically, just put it there. And then also make small change. In this case, uh, create directory, and I'll just modify this way, right? Just make it simpler. Go back to plastic, go back to pending changes, refresh. Here is my change. As you can see, the text diff is detecting it as being moved. In fact, if I just stop the, old, the, the outline, it's much clearer, right? Because you see a longer line being moved. This is X diff in action. This is not parsing the code. In order to parse the code, I need to enable semantic diff. This is not what I'm using. I'm just using X diff. It's finding the diffs based on text similarity. It's using the Levenstein distance, actually. Okay, so create directory, moved and changed. I do my checking. Then go back to the branch explorer and now. I have several options. I can just merge the two branches back to main, or just to make it super simple, I'm just going to merge the two branches together. So I'm going to bring the other change into my branch. Or I can do the opposite, just switch to the other one and merge. Okay, this time all I'm going to do is just to merge from the other branch. Like this, it proposes the merge changes in both source and destination. So when I click on process all merges, it's going to launch X merge. Let's go. And now here we go. Okay. So basically what XMERGE is saying is something like, okay, this is how the file was, this is the, the base, and there his his uh, this create directory. Then in the source contributor, the one you are merging from, you made a change. You know what? There's nothing on the other contributor on the destination what you have on disk right now. So XMERGE detects this situation, which is, okay, there was a change in one side, but there's nothing on the other. So maybe you move the code. That's why it enables the XMERGE button. So I just click on it. And then I see a wizard, which is basically telling me, you know, what is XMERGE, what you can do with it, and so on. Basically, what it does is tries to detect the code that was moved and let you merge. Okay, so I click on Next. And then it tells me, look, look, this is the code that I'm detecting as being moved. Is, is this correct? If it is, you just have to go and click. Otherwise, uh, you can select it your, yourself. Like, suppose it's not, uh, you know, uh, detecting correctly the code that has been moved for whatever reason, or there's uh, some uh, opening or close uh, bracket that is not correctly set or something. Okay, in this case, it did it perfectly. So I will just go and click on X merge with this selection. So here I go. And basically what it does now is, okay, you have a submerge, which is just showing you the 
the the the, the fragment of code that is uh, encoded, right? In this case, is the create directory method. But it's just because I move the method in. Actually, expert doesn't care whether it's a method or just a piece of text, right? So I just move it, and it's telling me, okay, you know what? You have a non-automatic conflict, a manual conflict. So okay, let's go to it. And that's because, okay, this is how it was. This is the change I did on one contributor. This is the one that I did on the other one. So I now have to choose whether I keep the two or one of them or just go and edit them. In my case, what I'm going to do is I'll keep the second one like this. And that's all. I, I could also go and just edit here, right? Like, uh, like uh, merge it or something. Okay, it doesn't make a lot of sense. So I'll just keep it like this. Save and exit. And then it tells me, you know what? Now... The merged code is on the destination location, but it's including the changes from the sources. I click on yes, and then now I see how, okay, the change is down, because remember, I move it down, and it's it's bringing the changes I, I did on, on on the other contributor, or whatever I written manually, right? And this is how, basically, Xmerge works, right? You can save and exit now, go back to Branch Explorer, you see the merge in progress, now you can check in, but basically, that's how uh, X merch works. Hope it was useful and uh, see you in the next video.